Now today I'm going to discuss a question from application or derivative. The final result from this question is really important and useful for many competitive exam. Now the question is a perpendicular is drawn from center to the tangent of an ellipse. The ellipse is x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 and it is given that it is flattened on x axis because a is greater than b. Now the question is find the greatest value of the intercept between point of contact and the photo perpendicular. And from diagram it will be more clear. So let's say this is my x axis and y axis and I'm going to draw an ellipse with the center 0 comma 0 and flatten on x axis. As you can see this is my ellipse and the center is origin as you can see here. Now on this ellipse I'm going to draw a tangent and the tangency the point of contact is let's say p. And any parametric coordinate on an ellipse I can write this as a cos theta comma b sin theta here for this kind of standard ellipse. Now the question says that from center, we're going to drop a perpendicular on the tangent which is passing through the point P. So let's say this is the foot of the perpendicular is R here and I'm dropping a perpendicular from origin and this is the foot of perpendicular here. Now, our objective of the question is to maximize, to maximize the length PR here. Now, if you follow the regular routine here, that is if you calculate the R point, it will be very difficult for you to calculate within the given time because it will be too lengthy. So I'll tell you the process which you're going to do here. You're going to calculate first equation of tangent. After calculating the equation of tangent, you're going to calculate the perpendicular drop from center, that is origin. And after that, you're going to find the photo perpendicular. After calculating the R, you're going to calculate the PR distance. And after that, you're going to differentiate. So that will be too long because after differentiation, you have to minimize or maximize. Now I'll tell you a way in which we can calculate PR without even calculating the R coordinate. And that is very beautiful and elegant way. So from P point, I'm going to draw one normal, which is obviously parallel to, if this is 90 degree here, which will be obviously parallel to the foot of perpendicular drop from origin to the tangent, that is OR. And on this normal, at point P to the ellipse, I'm going to drop a perpendicular from origin. Let's say this is the perpendicular drop from origin on this line. Let's say the photo perpendicular is Q here, this point. Now, as you can see, this is 90. The other angle is also 90. So I think these two sides are equal here. Here PR is equal to OQ. Now, our objective is to maximize here o PR here. Now, to maximizing PR will be equal to to maximizing OQ. Because here PR will be equal to OQ. So I'll tell you my approach. I'm going to write first equation of normal to this ellipse. After writing the normal, we're going to drop perpendicular from origin. After dropping perpendicular from origin on that line, we're going to calculate the distance. Once I calculate the distance, I'm going to differentiate and going to calculate the maximum minimum like usual process. But in this process, I don't need the R point. Without even calculating the R point, I can calculate PR distance and I can maximize it. So now our objective is to maximize OQ. So let's start with equation of normal. So our equation of normal is a square x by x1 here minus b square y by y1 is equal to a square minus b square. Now this is the Cartesian form. I'm going to write the parametric form because this is passing through a cos theta and b sin theta. So let's say x1 is a cos theta and b1 is b y1 is b sin theta here. So we'll get this as ax by cos theta here minus b y by sin theta is equal to a square minus b square. Now this is the equation of normal. On this normal, I'm going to drop perpendicular that is OQ and I'm going to calculate the distance from origin in the next slide. Now the perpendicular distance calculated from origin to the point Q is equal to PR. Let's calculate this D. So I'm going to drop origin in the equation of normal that is 0 comma 0 I'm going to put and I'm going to take a mod. So we'll get this as a square minus b square whole divided by root over. We'll get this as a square by cos square theta. I can write this as a square secant square theta. And here we'll get this as b square divided by sine square theta that is b square cos x square theta and root over here. Now we want to maximize the d value. So in order to maximize d, to maximize D, what is D? O Q. You can say OQ. Maximizing OQ means maximizing PR. Now to maximizing this mean meaning is to minimize 
to minimize a secant square theta and b square cosec square theta. So I have to minimize this value. Because the moment I minimize this, I think I'll get the maximum value of d. Because if this is minimum, we'll get the maximum value of d here. So let's rewrite this term as, I can write this as a square divided by 1 plus tan square theta, I can write this as. And similarly, I can write this as b square and then cosec square theta, I can write this as 1 plus cot square theta. Now I'm not going to differentiate this because without even differentiating, we can calculate the minimum value of this. I'll show you how. So we'll get this as a square plus b square here and plus we'll get this as a square tan square theta plus b square cot square theta. Now I'm going to erase the diagram in order to calculate the minimum value of a square secant square theta and b square cosec square theta in order to maximize d. Now, as you can see, these two terms are really important a square tan square theta and b square cot square theta. So I'm going to minimize this. As you can see, this term a square plus b square and then a square tan square theta and then b square cot square theta here. I'm going to apply am and gm between these two numbers. So this number will be greater than or equal to, as you can see, two times of root over these two. So if I take root over these two values, I think tan square theta, cot square theta will cancel out and we'll get this AB. So minimum value of this expression, A secant square and B square cos X square will be A square plus B square. And then minimum value is 2AB. Now, if you club this, you will get this as A plus B whole square. Now, once we get the minimum value of this expression, I'm going to calculate the maximum value of D here. So D max maximum will be equal to in numerator, you have mod of a square minus b square and denominator, we have a plus b whole square. As you can see, and the moment I'm going to take the root over, I'll get this as a plus b here. Now, if you factorize the numerator, you'll get a minus b into a plus b here. And then divide by a plus b here. Now, I think a plus b, a plus b will cancel out the most satisfying part and d maximum will be equal to mod of a minus b here. So, this will be the maximum length of the intercept which is possible and that will be all.